Hey you guys, it's me Spongebob number one fan, Salson3 here. And as you can see, I'm here with the super adorable Spongebob Cinemanga book. And this one is called Another Day, Another Sand Dollar. And it's pretty obvious that I got this book for Christmas this year. And this is actually a very super adorable Spongebob Cinemanga book. And I really, really love it so much. <laughs> Okay, so as you can see on the front cover, there's adorable little Spongebob, and there's Mr. Krabs right there too, and there's a bunch of Krabby Patties here. And it's pretty obvious that this is a Cinemanga book. This is my sixth Cinemanga book that I have. It's really great. And then here's the spine really quick. And of course, the back, basically just like any other Cinemanga Spongebob book, um, there's Spongebob right there. And obviously the description, but it's, yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and start looking at the pages that are in this Cinemanga book. Whoa, okay, so obviously there's the exact same picture of Spongebob and Mr. Krabs right here, but it's all nice and blue with bubbles. And this book was actually made in 2004, as you can see here. And then there's a picture of Spongebob typing in a calculator, and there's like a bunch of papers all over him, and it looks like he made a big mess. <laughs> and just like any other Spongebob Cinemanga book, there's some info about Spongebob and all his friends here. And then here are all of the contents. There's Help Wanted, Bubble Stand, Graveyard Shift, and the Fry Cook Games. Okay, so here is Help Wanted. This was actually the pilot Spongebob episode, and I find that so amazing! So, we see Spongebob's pineapple house, and obviously Spongebob is a young, optimistic sponge, and his alarm clock wakes him up, and Spongebob says that it's the big day, and he lifts up some weights. As you can see, it's really hard for him, because apparently he's stuffed, stu stuffies are a million pounds. <laughs> And then, um, Spongebob says, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. And then Spongebob sees the Krusty Krab and the Help Wanted sign. And Spongebob says that he's been waiting for this moment for years, but he says that he can't do this. And then he sees his best friend Patrick and, and Spongebob says that he's going to go home. But Patrick says, no, you're not. You're going to the Krusty Krab and get that job. But Spongebob doesn't think he's good enough. So Patrick gives Spongebob lots of courage to get his butt in there and get that job. And Squidward realizes that Spongebob is coming to the Krusty Krab to apply for a job. And then Spongebob comes into the restaurant and he's really, really like accident prone. <laughs> And um, Spongebob thinks that he's good enough for the fry cook job, but Squidward says no. And Mr. Krabs tells Spongebob to go get a hydrodynamic spatula with port and starboard attachments and turbo drive. And he says to not come back until he gets one. So Spongebob gets the employee hat and he says that he won't come back until he gets one. And then anchovies come to the Krusty Krab and they really want to eat. And Spongebob's at the grocery store getting the spatula. But all of the anchovies are literally like, meep, 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 meep. And then um, Spongebob comes with the legitimate spatula. And Squidward and Mr. Krabs are like, what the heck? How did he find that? And then Spongebob makes some Krabby Patties or burgers for everyone. And Spongebob gets the job. And that's so happy and exciting. Yay, he got it. So Spongebob got his job, his dream job. And he goes a little bit overboard with making the Krabby Patties and yeah. Okay, and now for the second story, which is Bubble Stand. Gosh, that episode was such a classic. And along with Bubble Stand as well. I'm talking about like, you know. Okay, anyway, so Spongebob says that it's a beautiful day in Bikini Bottom. And he's making a stand, but Squidward thinks he's being too loud, so Spongebob just like taps on the nail with the hammer. And then Spongebob builds the rest of a stand, and it's a bubble stand. Only 25 cents. And Patrick sees the stand, and he um, gets a quarter, and he gets it to Spongebob. 
and Score tries to to make some music with his clarinet, and Patrick tries to blow a bubble, but apparently Patrick is only like, <gasps> <laughs> so, and then um, SpongeBob says that he can give him lessons, and um, then SpongeBob does a technique, like you know, all of that stuff, and then they bring in a or. Now it's time to bring it around town, bring it around town. Then you do this and this and this and that and this and that and then, and he blows a little duck bubble. And then he blows like a caterpillar or something and then he um, blows a, a boat and then he blows an elephant bubble. Oh, it's a giraffe or it's an elephant. They didn't even get the the giraffe joke in here okay and then Sp and then Squidward comes over and um he um <laughs> um he uh, <laughs> and Spongebob like says that they're making bubble art but Squidward says oh that is not art and he discourages Patrick and Spongebob and they go back sadly inside Spongebob's house and then um Squidward tries to blow a bubble, but obviously Squidward sucks at blowing bubbles, <laughs> and and he won't even do the technique at all. He won't do the technique, and then Squidward does the technique, and he blows such a big bubble that it literally closes around his house. Oh gosh, darn it! And then his house comes back down, but. Yeah, it's not it's not that pretty. So Squidward's stuck in the bubble and yeah, so. Alright, and then graveyard shift, the third story. So um apparently um a customer comes and um he says I wish that you like I uh, wait, wait a minute. Oh yeah. Um, Mr. Krabs said that if they stay open late, then the customers will give them more money or whatever. And he decides to have a night shift at the Krusty Krab. And SpongeBob is very happy about it, but of course Squidward isn't that happy. And Mr. Krabs go because he has a life. And um, SpongeBob is dicing like or chopping lettuce at night. He's cleaning up the bathroom at night. Then he ow burns his hand at night. And then he does a night, 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 and he takes out the trash at night, but he gets really scared to do it. And then Squidward tells SpongeBob the story of the hash slinging slasher. And um. So. Um, so Squidward tells Spongebob the story where the half and slasher came and, like, you know, all that stuff. But tonight's Tuesday night! And, like, you know, he, um, like, what well, used to be a fry cook, but then, like, you know, he, um, died or whatever. I forgot the story. And, um, <laughs> then Squidward tells Spongebob that it's fake. And Spongebob was very happy about that. And then apparently all of the stuff from the Hashling and Slasher story, oh yeah, that's right, the flickering lights, and, um, the, the, um, the bus is running super late, and, um, then Squidward and Spongebob get very, very scared, and, um, apparently a fish just came over because he wanted to have a little drop at the Krusty Krab. And apparently it was Nosferatu who was flickering the lights. Wait, if that was you on the phone and you on the bus, then who was flickering the lights? <laughs> and then the Fry Cook Games, the final story. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so the Fry Cook Games are happening and like, you know, a bunch of Fry Cooks attend it or whatever. And of course, Spongebob is one of the contestants and apparently Patrick is a contestant too 
Wait, actually, no, this isn't part of the part yet. I'm so sorry. But yeah, Patrick and SpongeBob have a really big fight. As you can see. And Patrick is actually now an employee. Uh, well, okay, now, now we're at the part. So Patrick is now an employee at the Chum Bucket. And um, SpongeBob and Patrick say, You're going to eat my dust. And um, Mr. Krabs and Plankton tell their employees to get angry. Ah! And then SpongeBob does his thing right here and he turns into a number one and then fish sticks with patrick of course because patrick accidentally does it and then spongebob turns into a delicious ice cream treat or um you know a, a yummy ice cream treat like stun thing and you know, patrick also is an ice cream treat here too patrick actually kind of looks like ice cream once he's sitting in a cone and now it's time for the big fight. Look, Spongebob has braces. <laughs> and Patrick puts lemons in his eyes. Oh, dang. So Patrick and Spongebob have their big, huge fight. Ew, and Patrick licks Spongebob's foot. And of course, Spongebob erases the Pat part in Patrick's name. My name's not Rick. And then Patrick and Spongebob say, I hate or I never liked you. And then they realize that they that they care, oh, and then, <laughs> like you know, yellow pink, how sweet, oh. And then they leave the stadium. They and they promise never to fight again. And that is so sweet. Gosh. And then the fairly old parents advertisement. And of course another Jimmy Neutron one as well. And then more cinemangas or more stuff from Tokyo Pop. And then Crime and Punishment Cinemanga book. Gosh, I'd actually kind of like to get this one. Okay. But that was actually pretty much all for this SpongeBob Cinemanga book. I actually really enjoyed the Cinemanga book. Uh, probably my favorite story was probably all of them, to be honest. Gosh. <laughs> um,. Uh, probably my favorite part of Help Wanted was that Spongebob got his dream job and in Bubble Stand, um, the, the technique part and in the, um, the, the Great Bear Chet episode, the hash slinging slasher part was really funny, well, the Nosferatu part. And the Fry Cook Games episode, I love how Patrick and Spongebob realize that they really care for each other. And, oh my gosh, that was just the sweetest thing. But, yep, I hope you guys enjoyed this cinemanga book video so goodbye everybody have a great day and peace out